Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate a workflow for tracking late arrivals, uh, students who are leaving early, and those who may happen to have off-campus privileges if that exists in your school. Um, so in this example I'm only going to explore the off-campus privileges option because I think this is kind of a really cool uh, thing you can do with uh, with Google Forms and spreadsheets. So on your left, uh, what you see is a simple Google Form. Um, it's only three questions deep. Uh, the first question is simply asking the student to identify their purpose uh, for being at the kiosk. Um, so in this case, we're going to go through the off-campus privileges. The next question is going to be determining their grade level. So in our, at our school, only grade 11 and grade 12 students have the uh, off-campus privileges option. Um, these questions are populated uh, through the Form Ranger add-on. So at any given time, if students are somehow, if their privileges are revoked, uh, we simply remove their name from the spreadsheet. Um, it will automatically be removed uh, from the form as well. So, and again, we didn't have our students actually log in to track usernames um, because it's a bit cumbersome and takes a longer time. So, <clears throat> instead, the solution is to have this kiosk uh, at a location where there are sight lines of actually many people. So, it's actually posted right outside the <clears throat> um, administrative assistant uh, office. So, that's where they would go normally to sign out via paper if, if that's what they were going to do. So, this is simply replacing a paper-based system to a more efficient uh, online system. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate with a 12th grader. I'll click continue. And because I'll be blurring the names, I'm simply going to just tell you who, on a first name, who I'm selecting. So I'm selecting a student by the name of Blaze. Okay. So when I submit, uh, if I'm Blaze and I submit this, what happens is he's immediately added to the response sheet um, and his status is set to out. And we get a timestamp of when he left campus. So this is going to be a very short outing because I'm going to check Blaze back in. So when he returns to campus, he's simply going to go back to that kiosk and report and repeat the same procedure he had just uh, he had done before he left. So again, I'm going to select off-campus privileges. And the intent was here was to make it as few clicks as possible um, and as little typing as possible. So you can see there's really no typing. It's just um, navigating uh, to your name. So I'll go down to Blaze again, and I'll submit. And within moments, we're going to see that his status is now marked to in. Now, I explain in detail in a blog post of how I accomplish this out in status, but it roughly has to, to deal with the concept of odd and even numbers. So I'm basically counting the number of times a name appears in a column. So uh, in Blaze's case, there was a one because this was the first time that his name appeared in that column um, for that day. And then the second time was a two, and that's an even number, and that logic is translated to an in. So this is how I'm tracking kind of the, the out in status. So now taking it one step further, we've actually published the response sheet um, that's available via a link. So at any given time during the day, a teacher could you know, check to see who's been off campus um, or who's left early for the day, so on and so forth. Um, and we have that available through a published spreadsheet. So I just refresh this one. Um, Blaze should appear um, with his out and in. And this one you have to take into consideration. It's not immediate. It's not real time, but it's fairly close. Um, there's a a five minute delay roughly every time uh, it's republished every five minutes. So I hope you found this uh, 
helpful. And again, explore my blog if you'd like to know how to do this on your own. Um, but it's a great way to replace a paper-based system um, with an electronic system. And this form right here will we'll reset uh, tomorrow. This will be empty on August 28th um, because it's only querying today's uh, responses based on this function in A1. Thanks for watching. Bye.